So we've got some news on the Man United takeover. And the good thing about this news is the fact when we get news on the Man United takeover, most of it isn't true. And let's hope this story coming out and breaking right now isn't true. There's a lot to this story, but the headline was exclusive. Manchester United will be taken off the market by the Glazer family after bidders fail to reach the asking price in a huge blow to furious fans as the Glazers will hold out for £10 billion for the club. There's a lot of this story to get into. I'm going to read out everything the story says. But essentially, they're saying that the Glazers are going to take Man United off the market. Now, first of all, no other journalist has confirmed this yet, but this story broke five minutes ago. So we'll have an indication by the morning how true this story is, because the amount of stories we've got that it's going to be Qatar and then the next morning it's not going to be Qatar. And also no one really knows anything about what's going on with the takeover because of NDA signs. So before we overreact, you know, while this is a disgrace, if true, we've got to remember that I feel like with the takeover, nobody really seems to know anything just yet. But I want to say I want to talk about the story, uh, my thoughts on it, if I believe the story or not, what I think is going on and all of that as well. Because at one one part of me goes, well, if the Glazers were going to announce that they were staying, this would be the time. If the Glazers were going to announce they were staying, this, this would be the time because of the international break. They wouldn't be able to protest. And well, who is the source? Who has this come from, most importantly? And then we'll talk about if I think this is true or not. So it was said in the report by the Mail. It was said breaking and the Glazers are going to take Man United off the market, um, having failed to get close to that anticipated asking price, according to a source of a long standing ties of it, American family. So a source that's close to the Glazers has essentially come out and said that they're going to take the club off the market. This would be the time to take the club off the market with the international break coming up. There would be two weeks to get over the protest. And the fact that they didn't spend a lot and with the chance of the winner could be an indication that they are staying. But if you look at the financial records of Man United and how broke we are, the Glazers will have to sell the club within the next three years. I think they cannot continue to run this club any longer unless Tenal keeps delivering silverware. And this could be a negotiation tactic to kind of scare Qatar into putting in a bigger bid. Some sources saying Qatar were going to prep a new bid and maybe and hopefully this is a negotiation tactic to get a bigger bid in from Qatar. There was a little bit more to this story that I want to get into as well. Um, I think the fact that they're asking for 10 billion is an absolute disgrace. Uh, the Glazers and there was a report that came out about a month ago saying the Glazers wanted um, 10 billion and the, the new sale price is going to be 10 billion because uh, basically the new Champions League format, the fact that you can sell TV rights, they think Man United is going to be worth a lot more. And I think it's a joke because Man United could be worth 10 billion in two years. Um, and, and that is if the club is well run. If you pay off the debt, if you build a nice stadium and Man United get back to winning silverware, then Man United could be worth 10 billion in a couple of years. But for the Glazers to ask for 10 billion for United, because if good owners came in, United would be worth 10 billion is crazy. If you want to be good owners, you could make us worth 10 billion. If you were good owners, if the stadium wasn't a mess, if there was no debt, Qatar would have given you 6 billion. So I think it's crazy that they asked for this money that actually you know the club isn't worth that because you've been bad owners now alex miller said in this report the logic for taking man united off the market now says the source is that the glazer family will try and sell the club again in 2025 when they hope the financial and environmental factors will attract more bidders so this is the thing that worries me about the story because he's saying essentially the glazers are going to sell the club again in 2025 and why that worries me is because i know the glazers cannot stay for a long period of time but they could stay for another two years that is true. Um, and then they would look to sell the club again, where the club could be worth more money because of the new Champions League format, because of the ability to sell TV rights. Man United could be worth a lot more money. So potentially they might actually be saying, well, actually, let's take the car off the market and we'll look to sell it again in two years when we'll get more bidders. Or let's say to Qatar, this is what we're going to do. And then maybe they'll panic and do a last a ditch, a bigger bid to maybe cave and give the Glazers what they want. Qatar, please cave, give the Glazers what they want. Or maybe this is just an absolutely BS story, but the fact they're talking about 2025, I, I wouldn't put that past the Glazer family. I think a lot of the stories that come out on the takeover is a load of rubbish. And I think hopefully, 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 this one is a load of rubbish, but I think the timing of it, the fact that they're saying in this report, well, they will put the club up for sale again in two years. It, it stinks negotiation tactic because we all know deep down in inside sources. And the one thing we do know on the takeover that is true is that they want more money out of Qatar. Essentially, the Glazers know that Qatar could bid six billion for the club. Six billion is nothing to Qatar and they can't understand why they've got 5.2 billion. And they've been squabbling and squabbling and squabbling. Four Glazer siblings are like just sell to Qatar. Joe and Avril, we, we want more money. 
So they maybe think, you know, in 2025, the club could be worth more money. But that is relying on Ten Hag to bring in silverware. And that is relying on us to be in the Champions League to bring in more money. I think it's crazy because I think right now you've got a 5.5 billion bid for a club that's got over a billion in debt. The Premier League is increasingly competitive and we can't keep up with our rivals. We've got a 5.5 billion bid in from Qatar or 5.3 or 5.4. Accept it, take it, go. I mean, that is Man United's only worth about three and a half billion. But the Glazers are being absolutely crazy with their price tag. Um, it was also said that the Glazers are trying to hold out for 10 billion to part ways with United, which is absolutely crazy. They've moved the price to 10 billion, which is ridiculous. They will never get 10 billion for United. And that the Glazers hope Tenor can deliver major silverware to Manchester United over the next two seasons, which will help boost the sale price in 2025. So essentially, the, basically Qatar, not Qatar, why am I saying Qatar? The Glazers, oh, I, wish it, I wish it was Qatar. The Glazers essentially, basically, its belief is that if, if Ten Hag is good over the next two years, it will boost the sale price and Man United will be attractive to attractive to potential bidders in a few years and blah, de, blah, blah, de, blah, blah, de, blah, um, as well. Um, it was also said, of course, that Sources close to interested parties have been left frustrated as to the Glazers' stance, making multiple rounds of offers and being given no indication where they stood. We know right now sources around Qatar, sources around Sir Jim have no idea what's going on. But the interesting thing about that is that sources close to Sir Jim and, and Qatar have no idea what's going on. And when they're asked about this story that's just broke, are the Glazers staying? It was said that United are just uh, declining to comment on this story and the rain group didn't uh, reply to requests for a comment and Sheikh Yassim's source said he's heard nothing. So apparently another source that's come out is said that as far as Sheikh Yassim and Sir Jim are aware, they've not heard anything about the Glazers staying. So hopefully this could be one of these just BS takeover reports. I mean, for me, they can't stay. They can stay for another two years. The club could be worth more in two years. And if Ten Hag wins silverware, the club will be worth more in two years. So that's the only thing that worries me about this report. But again, the amount of people that don't know anything about this takeover is 99.99999% of us. Very few people do. But essentially, the whole story said breaking. Manchester United will be taken off the market by the Glazer family after bidders fail to reach their asking price and a huge blow to furious fans as they hold out for £10 billion for the club. It was said source uh, with long-standing close ties to the Glazer family said the Glazers are fixed uh, thick skinned and won't be influenced by negative fan reactions. It was also said the Glazer family will try and sell United again in 2025 when they hope financial and environmental factors may attract more bidders and that the Glazers hope Ten Hag can deliver more silverware to Manchester United over the next two seasons to help boost the sale price in 2025 where the Glazers will look to sell the club again in 2025 and hold out for 10 billion. I mean, I have to say this is an absolute disgrace. This is a complete and utter disgrace. These owners are a complete and utter disgrace. You know, I hope they go. They need to go. And you know what? I don't believe the mail. The mail isn't the most reliable source in the world. And, and that's the good thing. If Mike Keegan had come out with this story, I'd be worried. If if David Ornstein or Fabrizio Romano had come up with this story, I'd be worried. But I have to say, it makes no financial sense for the Glazers to stay. Um, I don't think I'm totally worried because, you know what, Old Trafford is rusting, Old Trafford's a mess, there needs to be a lot of investment made, they haven't been able to take dividends out the last two years, they know they have to sell the club, the club is broke, we're doing loans for major signing, so the Glazers are essentially screwed and essentially they need to sell, they are absolutely screwed, they completely need to sell and it has come out from the mail. So I think the 2025 things threw me off a little bit because I'm like, technically, they could take off the club off the market and sell in 2025. Um, you know, I think that's definitely a possibility. But I think I'm hoping, I'm praying it is just a game to get the Qatari bid in as well. I honestly think they have to sell the club. They have to sell the club. Maybe they'll do it in 2025. Them asking for 10 billion doesn't surprise me. But honestly... I'm hoping, and I think just like with every takeover story, we will hear something in the morning saying that this isn't true. It's come from the mail. There's been no confirmation from other sources. With every other takeover story, we see it. We hear something the next morning saying, yeah, yeah, this story isn't true. Um, and look, it's the mail. So let's hope, let's pray. I thought I'd cover it, give you my thoughts on it uh, and all of that and kind of break down, well, okay, the timing of it, the 2025 bit, maybe there's some truth in that. But then actually, why would the male of all people get this story? Why would the male be breaking this story? 
why would they say stay it makes no sense for them to stay but actually they could hold out till 2025 because they will need to sell the club eventually is all of those things but i'm going to say let's not worry about it and let's protest let's stop buying shirts let's get these damn glazes out smash a like if you want the glazes out in qatar in thanks thanks for watching bye